What's up, guys? Just gonna do a little bit of CK until Team to Score starts. Oh, you got an ad. Oh, shit. Okay, nice one. I thought I had to play those, but I guess they play automatically when you join the stream. How's everyone's day been? Brownies, you had a good day? Hey, Mortician. How's work? What's up? Number one sub, Lily Chamberlain here. Yeah, in about two hours, I think. Although... Steven has played Empire's of Arcade during then like a, a 12 hour flight and then playing D&D &D again so I wouldn't blame him if he wanted to cancel but as of right now I think we're playing. Got a new sub here, Mr. Dimitri. Thank you. I suppose I should probably call out everyone that's sub so far. Well Lily Chamberlain was the first sub. So thank you to you. And then we've got uh, Miktaki of D&D &D fame. <laughs> Oh, we got two more subscri subscribers, Mortician and I Little Dragon. Thanks, guys. This is getting out of hand, isn't it? I'm going to actually have to get some of these emotes and badges and stuff like that. On a banner, maybe. So, uh, level 1 hype trait. I don't know what that means, but yeah, cool. Completing level 1 requires combined support defense totaling. More tier 1 subs. Thank you, Capola. Oh, we're at 100% on the hype train. Oh my god, gifted five subs, dude. Thank you. Yeah, man. We can almost, I mean, I kind of have enough to buy a pizza now. Appreciate it. Everyone, so exciting. All right. Let's get the game going now. You don't want to just sit staring at my beautiful face. Anonymous Gifter. You love to see it. Thank you, man, for the five gift subs. Hi, Dex. Thanks for the follow. Oh, shit. That's the wrong game. Alright, here we go. There should be D&D &D today, yep. There should be. There should be. It's uh, in two hours, I think. Just wait, waiting for Steven to land off his play. Uh, Does anyone know what this hype train thing is? About two hours, Mr. Disconnect. Should be in about two hours. All right, here we are. It's an incentive today, right? Okay. I am your saver. How's that, Nitasara? All right. Well, we're sixty-five percent of the way to the level four hype train. I'm not sure what it means, but you know, we could get there. Probably never gonna get this close again. What were we doing? We've got Childish Gambino down here, Nambari the second. Calm, arbitrary, stubborn, yeah. What was our, our lifestyle looking like? Oh yeah, we're doing a few of this Augustus one. So next one is Inspiring Rule, monthly prestige per powerful vassal on the council. I got affiliate, yeah man. I think I'm gonna get partner as well. Like I'm looking at my uh, Twitch dashboard or whatever. It just says that I need the only thing I need to do is stream for five more days. So I was always a Chad Capola. Just I hadn't reached my potential yet, and now I'm fully Chadified. So this guy's the king. Shouldn't this vassal be under you? 
Yes, he should be. Just this one, though. So, the Duchy of Casa. So, you can see here, there's a little bit of a problem where Carbu is here. It should have this duchy too, I believe. Yeah, it should have this duchy, which is the duchy of Carbu. So who owns this? No, wait. Oh, it's not created, so let's make this. I'm gonna make... I increased our gold by three per month. Because we're in charge of these titles now, I suppose. <clears throat> you need to do a nip slip for partner there. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I know you're getting corpus out. I don't see that in the uh I don't see that in the requirements. Streams more often. I'm not sure I mean I've been kinda of streaming every day. I'm not sure I can do any more often than that. What do you mean, Brownies, I'll get recommended to people? Is that just because is that what happens when you're affiliate? Yeah, no worries, Neff. I guess they could communicate that better. I'm not sure if it's on, like, Destiny's schedule or something. An epic echo. Uh, not sure where that would be. Hopefully, uh... Hopefully it, it stops. So, who is the Jamana of Jara? This guy. So we've got this dude here, who's my family. My uncle. My 12-year-old uncle. You like to see that, don't you? 12-year-old uncle there. And then we've got uh, this guy, who is uh, not of our dynasty. So I guess we give it to our 12-year-old uncle then. Uh, yep. What was it? The, du the Duchy of Carbu. There you go. Does he have the other vassal in the room? No, he doesn't. So we need to make this guy his vassal, the Jamara of Carbu. So um, oh, he's not my vassal, right? He's this guy's vassal now, so I can't do anything about it. Okay, the Duchy of Joloth here. This should be part of the Kingdom of Tarkur, which we could create. I own all ten of them, so if I had the gold, I could make this kingdom next. We're doing quite good now. We've got a lot of these kingdoms made. If we look at our vassals. Should be farmer, right? Oh, here, it shows you the men here. Okay. So, Farbas Aleaman of Yatenga. Why does this guy have so many men? 2,300. He's got the Duchy of Yatenga. Oh, he's got two duchies, this guy. And four counties. Like, this guy is strong. You know, we could really, like... We could take one of these duchies off him. Oh, that's tyranny. Okay. What we can do is we can keep an eye on this one. We could maybe even search for secrets on him, because if we can find out that he's broken the law, then we can probably... Uh, whittle him down and take some of his land off him and split her out because it's dangerous having one vassal with so many troops. Yeah, brownies, I'm gonna, over the weekend, I'm gonna have a think about improving the stream. Now that people are subscribing, oh, we've got some more subscriptions here as well. Oh, the hype train keeps going. Okay, wait, there's a level five. There's a level five. So who else subscribed here? We've got uh, Brun97 with the Twitch Prime subscription. Thanks very much. And we've got Softy Ionna with the normal subscription. Thank you. How many are we on that? Where can I check this? Uh, where do I check this? Twitch. I don't know where you check it, guys. Do I just go to my stream and then click on this? Settings. Channels. Ah, stream manager. Here we go. Channel analytics. 
It says I've got 14 subscriptions, but I think it's more than that. It's just not updated yet. Will Kills, how's it going? Viral Wendron. Alright, what are we doing? Like, what is our plan here? We're 24 years old. We've still got a long life ahead of us. Our levies are almost full at about 8,000. We're just kind of saving up gold to sort our realm out, but we might as well conquer some people in the meantime. Oh, we were gonna get... At some point, we're gonna get that thing that increases our, uh, yeah, this true ruler off of vassalization acceptance, plus 25. That is so strong. That is so strong. Yeah, get rid of the small kingdoms. Would be worth reaching out to Devon for a chat about growth. Guy knows his stuff, plus he'd probably be super down for a chat with the legendary Malachi. Maybe he would, maybe he wouldn't. I don't know. I sort of spoke to Devon a couple of times. Kind of felt like he was a bit cold. But it's probably because I was trying to get... Like, I was watching Empires of Arcadia at the start, and I could see like how frustrated he was, and I messaged him this big long message about sort of how to deal with the way Koibu plays D&D. Um, but I don't know, I kind of felt maybe it wasn't appreciated that much. Maybe I stepped out of line a little bit. Yeah, he's, yeah, I know. I know it's like a meme in that, but... You see, I mean, I'm sure he's a really nice guy. I mean, I've never really spoke to him outside of um, that one episode of uh, Gnomes, Tomes, and Catacombs where I was playing Malachi in it. Arms dealer, thanks for the sub. Okay, we've made it to the level 5 hype train, guys, which means apparently now there's an emote. Here it is. Look at that. You love to see that, don't you? Hype punk. You see? It's a train. It's hype. But it's also into punk music. 121 damage in a single attack. Man, 5th edition. Is some shit, isn't it? That's some crazy stuff right there. What were they fighting? I think his wizard was a Malachi fan. I'm not sure if Tevin is. Maybe he is. This guy down here, Sander, he seems ripe for a... Uh... Your armies are raised. Oh, we were fighting... Oh, I remember now. We were stuck in this stupid war over here. I might just white piece this if we can. Oh, God. That's so annoying. I don't... Really got no interest in marching my entire army over to where is it? Like, who are we at war with? Quara Fara. Does anyone see Quara Fara? Oh, it's down here. Okay, this is the guy. Okay, so it's not too far. I suppose we could march there. Oh, we got to the next level of prestige. We are now illustrious. Ah, and that was what we were waiting for. Now we can declare war for duchies. Okay, good. Tomb to score is just two hours late. Sans the Skeletor. Thank my subscribers. I have been thanking my subscribers. Is there more? I think I got them all, didn't I? Coppola, Arms Dealer, Mortician. Brun 97. Ah, oh, he was sad when he told the Malachi died. Oh, well, that's nice. We got like 10 more. Guys, it's too many. How'd you expect me to keep up with us? BBC, by the way. Based news network there. Appreciate that. Do I have... Is I wonder if there's somewhere where there's like a... <laughs> too many, Vokrok. I don't know, man. Like, maybe... Uh, a hundred. No, not even not even that. That, way, that could actually happen. Hang on. <laughs> um... What would be too many? 2,000, that would be too many. If that ha if we get to 2,000 then, fuck it, I'll do whatever. Okay. Yeah, well, how to do that, Riley's, because I've, no I've got no idea how to do that. I'm going to look, I'm looking over here now. Add layout. No, that's not what I want to do. There's got to be a way to do it. Edit. Layers. Twitch alerts. Oh, here, wait, maybe this is it. 
add. Okay, wait. Save. Okay, wait. Somebody follow or something. Do you see that? Did that work? Oh, yeah, look at this. Professional streamer, by the way. I mean, not really. What was that noise? That was a subscription. Thank you very much. Zetas. The legend. Maybe turn the sound on a bit. On the game, brownies? Or on the on the on the notification thing. Okay, on this on that right. You keep challenging me. I'm gonna I'm gonna do what I can here. Let's see. Uh, Twitch alerts. Uh, alert duration. No. Theme. Twitch official. Right. Uh, color filter. Border sizing. All of this is to do with size and position, though. Hmm. More of a streamer than Nail. Yeah, probably true. Oh, wait, shit, we're not paused. Ow, oh, somebody's died while we're not looking here. Oh, my God. Okay, wait, alert types. Follow. Ah, here we go. All right, I'm turning down the volume. We'll keep host a little bit louder. I guess we'll keep raid a little bit louder. Subscription, okay, we'll lower that down slightly. Cheer, yeah. Okay, it should be like half the volume now. You're watching in DGG, really? Why, how many? Okay. Gifted a sub there, Zetas, to Nitisera. It's nice of you. How did it look? Did it look good? Yeah, it's decent. That's what I like to hear. This is so stupid, because we're going to end up with like some stupid title over here that we don't want. Like, which title are we even fighting for again? The Sheikdom of Garamule, like, over here. Ugh, it's so dumb. Uh, here's the guy's armies here, though, so... Let's go and kill his armies. He's got another army there. Ah, oh, Counselor died. Fudge. Oh, here we go. We can make uh, this powerful vassal our chancellor. Damn, 26 learning, this woman. I would really like her to be the Hogan. But I can't... Wait, can I change this guy? Oh, I can change him. Fuck this guy. Oh, wait, that... Do you have to be lowborn? Well, you can't have a title. Yeah, you can't have a title is the problem. But we'll make it this guy instead, because he's got 18 learning. I feel like that's going to help us... Help us out a little bit. Can we make this guy do... Like, increase vassal opinion, maybe? No, I think it's best to just do the convert counties. This increases our piety per month. No, maybe. Let's try this. Increase our piety per month. We've got our wife on patronage right moment, so on learning, yeah. Could I run court politics? We're not currently having any problems with court politics, though. Okay. Simultaneity, thank you for the sub. Okay, let's get Farbaz Tanam. We're the second of Borgu as our chancellor, doing domestic affairs. Have we got a better steward yet than this person? Yeah, we could make this guy our steward here. She likes us, but maybe she won't like us once we fire her, but we could do with the... We could just do with the money, so... So she will get minus 60 opinion with me. I'll put on minus 33. She's only a father, though, so she's a duke. Is it worth upsetting her? Yeah, it is. Look at this guy, he got 21. It's so much better. Alright, is Alayaman is like our most powerful vassal, so we're going to keep him as Marshal. Um, I'm going to keep her on learning for now. So what are our stats looking like? We've got 12 learning. I don't know why my headset just turned off. Maybe we will put her on Diplomacy, because we're only on 12 learning, it's not like it's good. 
Now we're on twenty diplomacy. That's pretty nice. What even is a Zerg? The dudes from StarCraft. Yeah, of course. What are you in? What a question. What's the Zerg? How do I educate my children well? Do they come out useless? Yeah, most of my kids are coming out useless as well. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to decorate this room, uh, Wizard of Amsterdam, but uh, in time. I've been meaning to get around to it for a long time. We should probably get some some new wives, I think. Let's search for inheritable traits again. She's nine and intelligent. That is good. Casual runners, casual runner FSA, FSU. Thank you for the subscription with Twitch Prime. It's very kind of you. That, uh, I, I think, I don't know if we can betroth, what's this? Fertility plus 50%. That is a fertile pl a life expectancy plus five. Wow. Can we betroth? Yeah. Does that work? So, said I betroth them. Relationships. Hmm. Pretty sure you can. Oh, you're talking to someone else. Can you get husbands too? No. Can I? No, I don't think so. These are all women. We could seduce a husband. Well, we, we could seduce a, a, a lover who's a man. That would be no problem. Commanding another army. I guess he's commanding his own army. Bit rude. Alliance formed with the... So this betrothal has gone through. So if I go on her, it does say she's betrothed to me. But when I go on me... It says I'm betrothed to her, but it's clearly not right. Can I flick through my wives up here? No. Oh, here she is. Okay, so we can betroth to these... So where was this intelligent one that was... There was an intelligent one. Inheritable traits. The list is a lot shorter now. I wonder why. Oh, that is a good idea, Yobob. That's a really good idea. Wait, hang on, I need to make a note of that, because that's... That's some, that's top tier. Okay. Can we... Let's get our notes going here, guys. Can we, uh... Let's see. Uh, yes, my lord. Jeeves. On follow. On subscription. It's the first note. It's a good one, though. Good luck making Neil say that. Don't even need to make Neil say that. Can't I just, like, uh... Can't I just find it in the, uh, in the VODs? Finally got to subscribe to Cal William. That's right. Yeah, Tombs of Scoria should be in, uh, about an hour and a half. That's a good one as well, Brownies. Let's, let's get that in. Uh, be right back. Animation of Malachi flipping through Spellbook. In tower. I won't need Neil's permission. Probably. Simpliciter, thank you for the subscription. <clears throat> we're actually losing, um... Losing supply here, even though we're in our own lands. So, we're gonna split this army in half. We might even need to split it in half again, which is like... This is the problem with being in a tribal land is like 
your armies are massively uh, your supply sorry is really small okay this is our first army we need to this army's getting attrition as well but we need to deal with this siege here so build building I don't want to build buildings because when you go feudal you lose all the buildings so are these guys getting supply now? Plus 20 supplies per month, so they shouldn't be starving very shortly, right? Why do they have a supply of 300? Supply increased by Farmer Begley. Nice. Alright. We're just going to fight this battle. Okay, they've got supplies again. No, I've not played any Anno games. Uh, Timberlino92, thank you for the subscription. I don't know what Anno games are, Capullo. Alliance Invalid. He's no longer a ruler. This is the guy we just betrothed his daughter. What happened to him? He's dead. Slain in battle. Not my battle, right? We are at... Right, okay, look. What I need to do is... Get my supply back to full. And then once supplies are back to full, we'll group up. And we'll go march down to here and conquer his capital. And we'll send half down there to his capital and half up there to there. And then that should finish this war, hopefully. My queen is pregnant. Yeah, right. I mean, this is why I wanted to focus on learning, to be able to get the, um... Oh, wait, I have heard of those games, Capullo. I've not played them, though. No. Did it cancel the betrothal? No, I was still betrothed to her. That's cool. That eight-year-old child. It's kind of something weird about betrothing a child, isn't it? As an adult. Like, it's one thing to, like, betroth your son to their daughter. It's another to be like, I will. Oh, yes, this child seems... Perfect, I shall marry her in approximately six and a half years. It's not weird in 943. You're damn right it's not. You're damn right. Okay, our supply is building up nicely here. Good. These guys... Are you getting supplies? Yeah. Alright, we're just going to wait for a few months when we get our supplies back and then we're going to deal with this war. There's a war over here. Should we see what this is about? So, looks like the King of Mali is once again fighting. So this guy usurped the previous King of Mali. And now he's defending against Farbas Biu of Bambuk in the war against the tyranny of Farmer Yama. Farmer Yama, okay. So he's obviously done some bad shit. And his vassals have declared war on him. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, he's winning though, so... Maybe make a sub-goal. <clears throat> what could that be then? I wasn't attracted to it, Blue and Luna. I was asking if it was sexy. I was trying to determine. Two thousand subs for full time. Yeah, that's what we're that's what we're looking at. That's what I was saying to Fran earlier today. New chair, better lighting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's good ones. That's good ones. How do you display these things though? Do you just put it in the description of the stream or sub goals? Let's see. New lighting, new chair, decorate room. full-time streamer so new lighting could be 50 new chair could be what 150 no new lighting could be 50 new chair could be 100 decorate room could be 200 and a full-time streamer could be 2000 little texting in the corner of the yeah but I see usually like people it's like a 
like a rotating thing. Uh, like it'll it'll rotate through them, maybe. Cooking stream. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, wait. So maybe cooking stream can be 50. Cooking stream is 50. New lighting is 100. New chair is 150. Decorate the room is 300. Okay. This is what we're looking at now. Cook some British dishes. What would you like to see, Padwood? <clears throat> Here's the hot take, Scoyo. Would Neil even still be a streamer if I'd never been on Hardcore Heroes? Debate and discuss. We, I mean, I could go and get the cat now, to be honest. It, Fran and the cat would both be mad with me, but I could do it. <laughs> Toad in the hole. That's a good one. That's easy to make as well. That is a good one. No, well, I don't say I carried it. I mean, me and Sean carried it. Me and Sean carried it. And Neil. It was the perfect show, the three of us. Stream my own D and D game. I am planning to stream a D and D game in the new year, but not D and D. Um, Dark Heresy, which is a forty k role playing game. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, Bob. I'll. I'm not really going for full time streamer to be honest. Like, I don't think it's realistic. But uh, I am going to. I am going to. I'd just like. I'd like to rebrand it just to Green Zerg. But I don't know. I don't really know how to do that without making a new channel. Greg did a great job for the time he was there. True. Neil didn't axe out past Santa Barbara. Is my understanding is that it was Lily who wanted to end it. But I don't know. Actually, I'm talking out my ass. I've actually got no idea. So don't take that as. This is the problem. Back in the good old days last week, could talk shit and say whatever I liked, and now people are listening. Okay, so if I get partner, I can ask a guy. All right, yeah. Well, let me, I think at the end of next week, we might be partner. It was mutual. Okay, sure. How are we looking supply over here? 20, 40, 60, 60. I like the new supply mechanic, because whilst it seems annoying to run out of supply, like in CK2, if you were in territory that where you had more troops than the supply limit, you just start losing troops straight away. But at least now you've got like a like a backup amount of supplies that will keep you going for a while. <laughs> it's just a joke. Okay, so uh, one of my well, my favorite comedian of all time is this guy called Stuart Lee and he does this whole bit about uh, Top Gear and how much he hates <laughs> everyone in Top Gear basically like how much he hates Jeremy Clarkson and Richard Hammond but he's I'm not going to do it justice but most of his bit is like you know when Richard Hammond was in that uh, so he, sorry to start Jeremy Clarkson like says all this offensive horrid shit he writes a column for like the I think the Sunday Times and he's always like writing homophobic racist shit and he's always like saying racist shit on Top Gear and stuff like that but his defense is like oh it's just a joke bro it's just a joke um, yeah James May is like the best of the bad bunch um, so anyway Stuart Lee does this whole bit you know when uh, Richard Hammond was in that car crash and he almost died <laughs> he does this this bit about how he wishes that he wishes that he had died and he goes into like graphics detail about it how like he wishes his head had rolled off and it'd been sat on fire and he had glass in his eyes and all this stuff and then at the end when everyone the crowd is all a bit like oh god this seems a bit much and he's like for any of you top gear fans out there who think oh is that a bit much maybe this is a little bit uh controversial you shouldn't be saying that just remember it's just a joke it's just a joke like on top gear the old jeremy clarkson defense it's just a joke so when i said that I wished he had died and his head had come off and rolled through burning grease and got shards of glass all in his eyes and he just had enough sentience left in his spinal column to feel like, oh, that hurt, and then died. That was just a joke. 
Just a joke like on Top Gear. So good. Check it out. Stuart Lee Top Gear. Alright, well, we're pausing. We're on pausing. Yes, there you go. Nice one, Reindeer. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, to my dad's dismay, like, I am definitely more English than French. Like, I'm French by blood, but I'm... Well, I'm half French by blood, but I'm English by... Well, this is just another... I mean, we're going to start talking about politics now, but this is just a sh this is just why... Um, white supremacy and, like, all of this, like... Oh, um... We're just trying to protect, like, our culture. We don't want our culture to die. Like, all of this nonsense. Like, you... Like, the person you become is, like, where where you live and the people you know and the, and the, the things that you learn from the place that you live. It's not to do with, like, where you're born or, like, where your ancestors were from. Like, it's such a fucking stupid way to, um, like, to frame your worldview. I do love politics. Before, the, before all this happened, before I thought about streaming CK3, I was thinking if I was ever going to do uh, YouTube or Twitch or something, I would have talked politics. And yeah, here we are. Playing CK3. Better than politics, because it's make-believe politics and you can torch people and shit. Not using Streamlabs. Well, I don't know. I'm just using uh, the Twitch studio thing. Just using the Twitch studio. I don't know about CK players, member, you know. Maybe they are. That'd be sad. Can we catch this this guy up here? Alright. Ego Carpo, thanks for the sub. Yeah, I've said before, I'd like to talk politics with Destiny. I, I don't know what we talk about. Maybe British politics or gun control or something like that. But uh, I'm not going to badger him for it. Like, he can ask me if he wants me to. Okay, we're supplied now. Okay, we're almost supplied. I'm going to deal with this force here. Oh, I've... Is the movie out? I've not seen the movie yet, but it got good reviews. I've read the book, yeah. I've read the first two books. I've not read... Not read the ones after that. Oh, he's running away. Alright, let's cross the bridge here and wait for him. Okay, the trailer. I've not seen it yet. I should watch it. Oh, this... this look, what is he doing? Oh my god, this game... AI is so freaking annoying. Alright, we're gonna merge these armies. We're sending this, these to his capital here. Is this an enemy army? Okay, can we catch them? These guys are gonna merge over here. He's going to my capital, isn't he? Fucker. These guys are going to go down to the war goal, which I believe is this one. Gasset. Garumale. Yeah, there we go. This one. Okay, they're going to go there and siege that down. Donation reversals. Well, I haven't got donation self. I don't even know how to set donations up, so... Don't get me started on fucking Brexit. Holy fuck. Just talking about friendship over dumb political debates between countries, like... Uh, with the babe cradled in her arms. Hi, Queen. Alma looks at me. Head held high and eyes glowing with pride. Husband, I think we should name her Almu after me. What do you say? Oh, shit. <laughs> she only, I mean... Hmm. Oh, thanks, Brownies. I'll check that out uh, after D&D. Uh. Oh, yeah. No, that was the election at the end of last year. It wasn't Brexit. That was, the that was last year's election at Christmas. God, that seems like ages ago now. Um, 
Yeah, that was good. I enjoyed that a lot. Holy fuck. Do you remember that libertarian guy? Like, who even knew that we had libertarians in the UK? Like, I just thought that was a demented American position. Which country are you from, Brun? Yeah, I'll plug the stream in the intro. I mean, I'm not, I won't, I'll just say that I've been streaming. I won't say anything else other than that. Uh, I voted for Corbyn, yeah. I mean, better than Boris, right? I'd have voted Lib Dems if I thought they had a chance, probably. <laughs> yeah, Mick, okay. Italy. Fuck, man. Well, hopefully you're still, you can still get in. I don't know. Can we just, should we name the child Armu like she wants to, or should we, are we name, gonna name her after a chatter? Uh, the thing with, with Boris at the moment, threatening to tear up the withdrawal agreement, makes me so fucking mad, right? Because, <clears throat> at the election, and this is the argument I was having on the night of the election, was... His withdrawal agreement that he had agreed was clearly so fucking shit. Like, it was far worse than Theresa May's withdrawal agreement that they all shit on for about a year. They all voted it down, like, fucking three times. They all said how bad it was. Boris Johnson even at one point suggested that split, like, having a customs border between Northern Ireland and the mainland UK was, like, um, something that no British Prime Minister, past, present, or future, could ever consider, right? Come the election, Boris has got an oven-ready deal, and it's basically that. He's just, he's, he's gone back to the EU's original offer, which is basically Northern Ireland stays in the customs union with the EU, and the UK, the rest of the UK can do what it wants. They, that's been on the table from day one, and Theresa May turned it down because it was a terrible thing for the UK. It basically means Northern Ireland leaving the UK in the future at some point. And he uh, he just went back to that and claimed like it was some massive breakthrough that he had. When in reality, all he'd done is just go back to a position that had been offered two years ago and had been uh, dismissed out of hand and claimed that it was this brand new thing that he's come up with. So I'm not surprised now when it's actually coming down to it, he's refusing to go along with it because he knows how fucking terrible it is if it actually happens. Yeah, I got invited to do a COVID, uh, get a COVID test today for some study that they're doing. Ireland wants independence, Northern Ireland. I don't know if they do, man. That's, you can't, uh, you can't generalize that question like that. It's so complicated. Okay, we're just going to name this child army because... D&D's not been cancelled yet. We're just two hours late. It should be happening. Is Northern Ireland still Protestant? It's both. It's both. And that's the problem. 3am. Reindeer. Bria, thank you for the subscription. Sorry I missed that, dude. Thank you. Holy fuck. Talk to Sargon and Count Dankula. Man. Count Dankula, that, I don't know if you guys watch Vosh, I'm not sure if that's like a controversial thing to say in Destiny's chat, but uh, his debate with Count Dankula, he literally played the it's just a joke bro card the whole fucking time. Oh my god. I actually did find him quite amusing, but he's clearly like Oh, yeah, I'm good friends with Tommy Robinson. He's not actually as bad as he sounds. Yeah, okay, mate, whatever. Why would Sargon debate me? He wouldn't. Like, I'm nobody, right? Why would he do that? Holy shit, wow, well, what's going on over here now? Garner. Is BB Gunners here? Because he's done fucked up. Ah, oh, he's being attacked by Farbas Alayaman.
So this is okay. A layer man, right? He was our marshal in our first for our first character. He was a legend. This guy. This is his grandson, and he is our marshal too. He is also a legend, and he's attacking the king of Ghana, and winning. What's my regular job? Uh, I'm an investment consultant for institutional pension funds. Yeah, he will be too. No, he's not. He's not going to war for Ghana. He's going to war for a single county, Massina. This county here. Reppy, thanks for the sub. Do you have any views on negative interest rates? Yeah, sure. Um, <laughs> it's <laughs> we talk about this a lot in work. Uh, it's kind of just hard to get your head around. And um, interest rate markets have been dumbfounding analysts for years at this point. As for like, is there some grand implication that will come from interest rates being negative? Like, I don't think so. If it keeps going down further and further, like the long end of the, the long end of the interest rate curve is more important and that's still positive. set up text to speech for subs and such yeah probably I mean this is the first time I'm streaming since uh, since I got the sub button I'm probably not going to stream tomorrow maybe on Saturday but over Friday and Saturday I'm going to try and do some work on the stream and get it maybe get some of this kind of thing set up well Reindeer there's a difference between the base rate being negative and just parts of the curve being negative. Yeah, I'm working from home. Because real interest rates, interest rates that actually like matter, are determined by the market. So what will happen is the, the Federal Reserve or the Bank of England will issue government bonds like gilts in the UK or treasury bonds in the US at a certain rate so they might say like we're issuing a 30 year bond at say 2% so that means that they're going to pay 2% interest for 30 years and then the other 30 years you get your money back but people will then buy and sell that bond over the next 10 over the next 30 years and if the value of the bond uh, goes high enough that implies that interest rates are going lower for that bond and you can use all this information to draw like an interest rate curve. So like the interest rate at one year is X, the interest rate at two years is X2, the interest rate at three years is X3. And this interest rate curve will move as, in, as demand moves in the market. Sorry, I yeah, don't know why I'm talking about this. <laughs> But negative interest rates, it's only at the short end of the curve is the point, and most big money is traded at the long end of the curve, which is still positive, so it's not a huge cause for concern as of yet. Alright, we caught this guy over here. Wait, what's this? Victory, okay. Wait. Enemy combatants captured. Who did we capture here? This person looks like a leader of some sort. 99 gold? Ah, oh, it's one of his allies. Yes, I'll ransom you for 100 gold. Thank you very much. All right, we're marching over to the capital over there. Yolo with Tesla shares, ma'am. The partner that runs our team has like, fucking, he bought like 20 grand of he bought like 20 grand of Tesla shares and every time we have a team meeting he talks about the Tesla price and how much money he's made. 
It's like, it's not enough, mate, that I know you're making like literally millions every year. You gotta tell me about these Tesla shares that you own. Negative interest rates are mate. <clears throat> oh my god. Wizard of Amsterdam. Don't talk to me about Excel. You have got no fucking idea how much of a god I am at Excel. True. True fucking story, mate. I am, I am so fucking hot shit on Excel. Team meetings tomorrow, so we'll see if he mentions it, Flumster. <laughs> I mean, even if it's down 20%, he still made a fortune on it. I do not need mercenaries, thank you. Well, yeah, but Little Dragon, see, the thing is, you want to use VBA to code within Excel. That's how you do the real crazy shit. Bands, I'm in. Ow, my, uh, wait. Since you've subbed, should we check on you? You're in here somewhere, right? You're my aunt? Who's West Lull? Who is West? I don't know. Some loser. Where are we here? Benzeman. Here, we are. here you are. Thank you for your subscription, Benzeman. I don't know. The chat seems pretty chill right now. If it gets any bigger, maybe we'll have problems. And I'll have to think about it. Impatient, lazy, brave, brilliant strategist, unyielding defender, and you're gay. But I've got some really good news for you. You're pregnant. You're with child, Benzaman. You've already got one little child, so Nambari here is about to have a little brother or sister. Oh my god. Can we get some claps in the chat for Benzaman, please? Good stuff, good stuff. You love to see it. All right, 97 living dynasty members, guys. Oh my word. Noteworthy. It's been noted. It's been noted by some very important people. How much of an awesome badass we are. All right, come on, we're almost done with this here. We now control Kukia. Okay, that's this. Alright, you're gonna march down there to this guy's capital. Now... Oh, someone's invading Waradugu. Is this Bassa, though? Defending against... Yeah, Bassa, okay. I know, mate, we didn't play D&D instead of... Uh... Oh, fuck, not this again. Oh my god, look at the state of that. That is crazy. Cloud 9RC. Yes, Mom. It's me. Nicholas. That's, that's me. Dharma has raised itself. Again, this is just... They really need to spell check this pair. This should be capitalized. Dharma has raised its scythe over my realm. The plague has arrived. The unfortunate victim is my guest, Mardia. The taint possessing her flesh is a danger to us all. While she remains afflicted, no life at court is safe. Isolate her and pray for redemption. Oh, look at this. Your stewards. I knew it was worth putting this guy in charge. 105 gold pieces. Now we can make that kingdom up here. Ah, oh, this is just great news. So we're going to make this kingdom of Tarkor here. Of which there is three duchies. So, um, this duchy is owned by my cousin Farbas Buer of Jolof. Uh, he's the right the right religion and the right culture. He's got 13 martial. He's definitely not bad. He is not a bad guy. These other vassals are under the king of Ghana. So, in reality, what I should do... So the other vassals are uh, Cilia. Oh, this is owned by Yasaboy. He's got Scylla. So really, 
I should revoke that from him, but I can't. Um, so I'm going to have to just leave them to work it out themselves. I'm going to make the kingdom and I'm going to give it to the Duke of Joloff because I don't really know what else I can do without pissing people off. So we're going to make this kingdom here. I'm going to go to the Duke of Joloff. I'm going to make him the King of Tokraw. I see these two duchies should be part of him. But right now, if I click on him, they're both part of Ghana and Mali. Which is kind of a big problem. So it's currently he's a king, but he does have claims on them now, so maybe he can maybe he can win them back. Um My legacy did I go for? I went for the martial one. Yeah, it's, it's quite bad. De uh, Steven did apologize to me. Oh, we've got our next thing here. So we got inspiring rules. So prestige pair, powerful vassal on the council. So how many powerful vassals do we have on our council? Um, How do I see? I know at least these two are. He's a powerful vassal. He is. So currently only three. Three. Could we put a spy master in charge? We could make hair our spy master. Oh, we could make. No, he's. I mean, this guy loves us. <laughs> can make this person our spy master here. Oh wait, no, but there's better people. I think I'm not too worried about spy masters, so I think I mean, I'm going to do that just because she's a powerful vassal and get us five percent more prestige. Stainless. Thank you for the subscription. What happened in the last game? Are you talking about the Welsh one, Broken Lights? Thanks, Stainless Mom. This is the Africa one. Look at us. We're kicking ass, Mom. We're an Emperor. High King Nambari II of Malikai. And we get lots of points. So that's pretty cool, is it? Awesome. Yeah, I never thought of it like that. Okay, so now we've got three powerful vassals. We're leaving our steward here because he's really good and we can't make a, a Hogan a, a landed man. So this is about as good as we can do for now. So this is giving us 15% more prestige per month. Or, you know, we're halfway almost to exalted among men. We are smashing out the prestige here. And all of this should be building up our troops, I believe, with our vassals. But uh, we'll see. Where are my, where are my men? So these guys are marching down there. These guys are sieging this. Yeah. Farina Fonoya converted culture. She changed to the wrong culture again. Well, whatever. <laughs> Thank you, Automod. <laughs> Look for gay or impotent high pro prowess people because they may make no babies and so you can land the next night when they die. Uh, I don't mind landing them though. I don't. I've done this. Is how I've got a lot of my vassals. It's just our champions. Yeah, I've never made it to the end date in any game of CK2, so I'm not too worried about that. As their high king, my vassals owe me their allegiance. My word is law. But how much is obedience without devotion worth? In times of crisis, a slow response or a half-hearted effort can lead to disaster. Can I afford such a risk? I will win their un unwavering loyalty. Gain generous liege. So reduce their taxes by 5%. But you gain plus 15 direct vassal opinion for 10 years. That is really fucking good. Uh, you gain 20 dread. And Farin Pod gains the trait wounded. Is Pod in chat? Can we beat up Pod without upsetting him? Yeah, dominate the continent and eat the Pope. I think I'm going to take... I think 5 stress for plus 15 with every vassal... With every direct vassal is, like, so strong. That I can't turn that down. No, I'm not beating him up. What's up, McTucky? Yeah, look, see, this has got rid of this faction here. 
The tasty, tasty Pope. I know. Okay. We've still got supplies here. This is going fine. Yeah, oh, fucking hell. Here comes another army. Just when this unit is about to make it across. Okay, Blickus has decided our time and Kissy has come to an end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so we're going to lose this claim on this single county. Whatever. Don't care. Plus your white. But she's not. She's black. So maybe I do care. Wait, hang on. I'm confused now. My spy master has come to me with grave news. While we do not yet know who, someone is plotting to kill my guest, Konoa. Not Konoa. Not Konoa, the humble, shy sadist. With a claim on a single county that no one cares about. Whatever will we do? We must find the villain behind this. If it's someone important, though, it's worth that we could get the secret on them. The hook, I mean. Being white isn't about the colour of your skin, but the content of your character. That might be unintentionally extremely racist, Brist, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, we did it. We conquered this thing. Let's go and fight this army down here. Kelia, our old spymaster, has got the bubonic plague. How many viewers are we on? I'm not even... No, I don't think there's any hosts. I think this is just people with nothing to do while they wait for Tombs of Scoria. <laughs> Low. No one important has got Bubonic Plague yet. Another guest. Another guest. Okay. Chase them. Yeah, stop telling me about all these guests. Like, I don't care. Well, actually, we could just check to see if there's any new champions worth having. Like this guy. <clears throat> <clears throat> Destiny needs to add Nick on the auto-host rotation. Well, that would be nice. Your favourite Brit. Thank you, casual runner. Oh, no. Hang on a minute. Now, this guy... Has a claim on the Kingdom of Houseland. Now this is someone that we can work with here. We need to recruit this guy to our court. We need gold. Alright, we, we do not want this guy to leave here. We're going to land this guy, in fact. We're just going to give him a title. Uh, you guys are going to see. This is what we're doing now. This is how you really take land quick. So we could give him, just give him one of these down here, or we need to give away this duchy in the end anyway, so let's give him the dump share, bro. Okay. See, now that he's our vassal, that's the important step. You have to land him first. Because he's our vassal, and the kingdom of Houseland is below our main title as emperor, if I press a war to make him the king of Houseland, he will still be my vassal. If I didn't land him first, he would just become independent as the new king of Houseland. Alright, so we just need to... We need to finish this shitty war over here for, like, a county that we don't even want. In fact, we could just white piece it at this point, like... Uh, it cost me 75 prestige. But I don't want the land, so... Whatever. Cool. Let's get that done with. Alright. We can disband our armies. Okay, good. Now. Now. Houseland. Wow, wow. You guys got five allies. Damn. Okay, so he does have a lot of allies with a lot of troops. But we can, if you look here, we can declare war for Farron Tauf Taufik's claims and take the entire kingdom here. In one war. What's up, Ayo? Ayo, I need to talk to you maybe about helping me get some badges and emotes and stuff. 
The red spots are his allies. Costs 3,000 prestige. Holy fuck. Well, we can afford it. What's up, Wes? See you later, Tide Time. That's kind of lame, because we could just subjugate him for 1,250 prestige. But we could save our subjugation for Yorubaland. And in this lifetime, we could we could take Houseland and subjugate Yorubaland. And that would take us, well, you know. You know, I'd actually say, if we've got all of this, that's actually most of the way to conquering Africa, because most of these are like shitty little... There's not too much land here. What's up, Proterb? Thanks for joining. Um, Bubonic Plague Outbreak, Hawa Galavi, another guest. Okay, this war is over now. Are we saying it's not? Well, okay, well, let's do some duchy wars first. I think we can just... This guy's fighting Waradugo here. We can just take a fucking chunk out of this guy. We take these three here. Seems good to me. Oh, our levies are up nicely here. Imagine when Childish Gambino comes to declare war on you. You're going to be scared then. Do a little history, culture exposition and religion now and goals for some intermittent talking points. How good are your knights? My knights are pretty good actually, I think. 21, 20, 18, 18, 16, 12, 12, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11. Pretty good. I am Childish Gambino here. Look at me. This is us right here. High King Nambari II of Malikai. The leader of the Gur culture. The most influential member of the Seagoistic faith. Seagoic faith, sorry. My skilled chancellor, Farbas Tanamwia, has proved himself highly capable, especially in matters of a diplomatic nature. There are some projects I would like you to undertake in the Jamana of Nikki, my liege, with your blessing of course. No, you will defer to my diplomatic expertise instead. Development growth plus 10% per month in this one county and I gain 150 prestige. Take the reins, Tanamweir. Get the same thing, but he also gains 20 opinion of us, but we spend 75 prestige. So it's do I want to spend 70, basically 225 prestige for 20 opinion with this guy. He is a powerful vassal, so I will do it. I'll spend my 75 prestige, take the plus 20. I don't have absolute tribal, but I can do it whenever I want, I think. The thing is, when it doesn't actually do anything, it just gives you minus 30 opinion with everyone, but you need to do it to feudalize. So I'm just gonna wait until I'm ready to feudalize and then I'll do it. Thank you, uh, Alcibiades. Alcbiades? Alcibi Alc Alcibiades? You can uh, tell me how to say that if you want. This. The outbreak of plague which has ravaged my court is finally over. Its victims have either pulled through or departed from this world. My Hogan Gamma Brew ensures me that all bodies have been properly handled and that the threat is wholly gone. Okay, so these four people recovered. Four victims survived. Alcibiades, Alcibiades, the Athenian statesman general. Nice. Well, I don't know who he is, but I'm impressed. Nice naming convention.
Alright, this war could be over immediately if we capture him here. Okay, no, we take his heir though, prisoner. Another faction has been created. Okay, it's populist, so whatever. This is his army here. I assume it's being led by him. This army is being led by Nana Takoi. And this army is being led by Captain Konza. Okay, so he's not there. So where is he? He is uh, in Bassa itself. So he, he's just escaped the siege, unfortunately. But I think if we go and kill his army, that should do it for the war. Do you mean how long have I been streaming in terms of days or today? I only started an hour and 15 minutes ago. We're just sort of filling in some time while um, while we wait for Tom to score here. Yes, I am Childish Cambino. Check it out. Here he is. Oh, and my wife is pregnant. High Queen Armour. Oh, no, we've lost our betrothal. Okay, let's... We need to get some actual functional uh, our cousin here is intelligent that's nice but we, not, we can't betray ourselves to our cousin <clears throat> a lot of these people are our cousins actually now that we think about it alright 21 hail get over here I'm going to marry that chick huh. and 29 and this one's 28 and quick Sure. Alright, that should do us for now. Another two wives. Our troops are growing. Hoping to just. Okay, we've made an alliance with the Countess of. S Sigdrigis in Sweden. We've got a. Um no, I've just had a message, guys. Let me see what that is, just in case it's... Uh, it is in the Tombs of Scoria group. Okay, fingers crossed, lads. Okay. Steven says, I am landed and waiting for them to let me off this flying machine. I have been hosting your Chancellor for several weeks and he has helped me truly see the splendour of the realm under your rule. I am nothing less than honoured to serve as your vassal. Nice one, steward. That's very kind of you. Leaked DMs. <laughs> Can we, uh, vassalise this person? Minus 25. Alright, when we get that... Dragged under. <clears throat> Thanks for the sub, my dude. Oh, we're bankrupt. <clears throat> Terrible news, we're bankrupt. We need to end this war. ASAPly. Alright, we can't really afford to be bankrupt, so we need to get down here and kill this army that is running away from us currently. Luckily, they're going to stand and take the fight here, so... Um, I hear a lot about this Among Us, but... Uh, don't let him board his ships. Do not let him board his stupid ships. Thank you. Our champion was wounded here. Oh no, our powerful vassal here was wounded. The battle is won, though. The war is over. Thank fuck. Okay. Some force our demands here. Let's take that. Let's expand our armies. Okay, our money's back up to the positive. That's good. We need to give away one of these holdings that we just took. Let's keep Bassa for now, since obviously this is the capital. We'll give away man. Because, you know, in 2020, who needs man? Not me. Not me. Maxi40k. Thanks for the subscription. Um, let's see, we're looking for unlanded 
males here. Going on. He is the son of our uh, aunt. So he's our cousin. And now he is the Duke of Man. He's going to be the Duke of Man. The Duke of all men. Burger Angle, thank you for the uh, subscription. We've got subs. We do. Fastest affiliate of all time. Just had to stream seven days. Alright, Warg of... Waradugo. you getting fucked up, man. Are you sure you don't want to vassalize? No. Cannot declare war while in debt. Alright, well, let's let that end. Looks like our levies are big enough now that raising them all will actually cost us more money than we can afford, so... Like, more than we're making, I mean, so we will have to have some form of positive cash when we declare war. Hottest rising star on Twitch, yeah, maybe. Invest in your stocks now. If Steven's still on the plane, McTucky, I don't know if 40 minutes seems reasonable. I'm not sure how close he lives to the airport, but uh, assuming he's flying to LAX, I feel like it's going to take longer than 40 minutes to get out of there. All right, we've got a daughter, guys. Get your thinking caps on, because it's time to work out what this daughter's going to be called. So, <clears throat> I think our last question was on Hardcore Heroes. I think we need a real history question here. Stocks don't have interest rates. Oh no, Brun. You've made yourself look so silly. Name her destiny field. <laughs> no, we uh, we ask questions and whoever gets the right answer wins. <clears throat> Just trying to think of an appropriate topic. Something not too hard, you know, not too easy. What is the name of the man who reformed Protestantism? Martin Luther, Spluck. Here he is. Baby Spluck. The most beautiful daughter you ever did see. Oh, she actually is as well. Now that is a sexy baby. Congratulations, Spluck. Name him Joa. Okay, sure, yeah. It's a girl, though, you know. That's fine. <laughs> no, it's just a handsome baby. A uh, pretty baby. <clears throat> May you grow strong and wise, my daughter. Mm -hmm. Isn't it wonderful? Look at it. The empire grows. Ten gold to ransom. Oh yeah, let's check our prisoners. I think we got some prisoners in that last war we did. Um... You, are you the right religion? Oh, bad news, Zainab. You're getting executed. Burn her at the stake. <coughs> okay, she's gone. 50 gold. Yes, please. Wahinda, 10 gold. Will not accept. Excuse me. Hang on a minute. You won't pay the 10 gold to ransom your... You're from House Sal. What kind of houses? Bang. If we kill her, who do we upset here? If we kill this chick, all close family members of Wahida Sal. So she's from an obscure house. Okay, well, if you don't want her back, I'll burn her at the stake. See you later, babe. Kumba Galavi here. Uh, who are you? Oh, she's Comely. Ransom, nine gold. See you later, have a good life. Sundiata Tunuma, 29 year old. He is the right religion, so we won't be killing this guy. He has been imprisoned for 13 years, and he's only 29. All right, let's just let him out. Go on, leave. 
I feel bad for you. For Marta here, a rival. She's 57. You know, she's living a good life. She's also got 17 Intrigue. I don't want to let her out. She's lowborn. It is going to cost me piety to kill her. But I do gain 150 prestige and lose 44 stress. I'm not sure why I lose 44 stress. But we can cut her head off. So we will do that. We will cut her head off. Yeah, we're working towards the ritualistic cannibalism. I was hoping to get a leader with more learning so we could boost our piety. But he hasn't got very good learning, so... Maybe we gotta wait till the next the next guy. Costs like about five thousand piety to reform the religion. Okay, Kona Kono here doesn't have any money. Is the right religion? Um, renounce your claims, and you can go. Okay, and Maladu Kr Kr. Uh, she's the right religion. She's got a claim on the Duchy of Joloff. She's been in prison for 14 years. She won't pay, but if she renounces her claims, I will let her go. And I'll take a week off on her as well, just in case. Alright, that clears our court out, I think. Uh, prison, sorry. Your counselor died. Oh, a steward died. Okay, we're getting another 65 gold there. We're about to get some more gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we need a new steward. So I guess we can put that... We can put that vassal on. The powerful vassal that wants it to be steward. This person. Who's got more men? We've got Pod here with 1,400. Or her with 2,500. Okay, she's... You are now the steward. And that should get us another 5% prestige per month, which is nice. Yes, Mali Kai. Well, it was already the Empire of Mali, so it was not too much of a... Oh, I just killed my own kin, did I? Oh, fuck. Dark OS, why didn't you remind me? No, wait. Who's it? Gorlock, man. Gorlock, why didn't you remind me? This is all your fault. Ah, well, you know, sometimes you gotta kill your own kin. No, we're not safe, Scum. We're not doing that. We'll live with it. Our dynasty likes us anyway, because we, we, you know, it's gonna be fine. What relation was he? I don't even know now. It's just like another dead body in the dungeons. Oh, well. She gained diplomatic expertise, plus one diplomacy. May as well kill more. True. Absolutely true. Alright, let's uh, go to some more wars here. Well, we've got a truce with Bassa, but we can maybe take this duchy off him. Oh, it's so annoying that this is split into two. Farron Lafayette has got claims on this title as well. Yeah, it's a numbers game. Yeah, you are right, Matthew. <laughs> it's true. There's too many of them. Okay, this looks like a nice duchy, is it? No. Do you know what? It's really pissing me off, like, how split the fucking continent is. So, what about you? What could I get out of you? Can I get a full duchy out of you? No. No. At least this is two, but... It's not ideal. Kong? So that, that's a full duchy, right? Or at least it's all in the want. No, that's not either. What we need is to get the vassalization acceptance and sweep these guys up. We've got some... We've got some... Um, you know, I don't want to get myself banned here, but we've got some uh, filthy Muslims up to the north here that we could... Potentially fuck up. Again, this is all... We could take this. This is three. It's not ideal, though. Is there a possibility that you take too many counties and split the empires on succession? Yeah, there's a possibility. Let's have a look at the other empire. 
This is Guinea. Like, I feel like we're a while off this. Yeah, we need another, like, 41 counties to make that, so I feel like we're okay. <laughs> I get, maybe it's just me, but I feel like there's some, some things that are unacceptable in real life to say that are acceptable in the context of Crusader Kings. Specify that first. Okay. Near Mallow, thank you for the uh, thank you for the sub. I'm just role playing. Okay, I'll rein it in. All right, look. Hey, I'm sorry. I take it back about about Anbia and the Muslims in general. How are the? Uh, uh, the kind of, the kind of, God, Catholicism is in a state. Look at Cath, I, this Cathar here, it's pretty strong as well. Uh, Dawuni's very existence is an insult since the name of our glorious dynasty. Oh my God, that's not very nice, is it? A withered, twisted branch hanging from our vibrant family tree. My kinsman is a constant reminder of Gaban's infidelity. Perhaps I can make some gals of it. It's a 50% chance. Dune bug, thank you for the sub. I mean, there is a whole subreddit to out of context Crusader Kings uh, comments. I don't want to kill him. Let's try this. Oh, I lost the Renal. Shame. True Grit, thank you. Good movie. Matthew, why would you clip that, my dude? When he took. <laughs> no, I am gonna get banned. Um, can we? He's at war with Bobo here. Uh, I assume. You can stay in the chat, but it, and I'll host it on here, sure. I mean, Destiny messaged us like 15 minutes ago and saying he was still on a plane, so... It had landed, but he was still on the plane. I don't know what to do next. Like, who to fight? These guys, oh, this is a child here. Oh, good. Look, a whole duchy. Let's take this. So, 266 men. That is... He's in for a bad time. That is not good whatsoever. Oh, he's in Nebraska. I thought he was in L.A. I was gonna say, like, if he's in LAX, like, that's gonna take so long to get out. Wizard of Amsterdam. See, you might think it's a good idea to make buildings, but when you convert to feudalism, all that money that you spent on buildings is just lost because those buildings just disappear. Yeah, they're talking about eating the Pope, that's fine. Oh, we got another message in the, uh, in the Discord. Well, let's, let's just... Have a little look what that is. Okay, it's Neil saying, are you in a state to play? We'll see, we'll see. We'll see, lads. Yeah, it's weird when we could just play some more Seiko. I don't think it is better. All right, we got enough gold to make another kingdom. All right, where's our next kingdom that we're making? We've got Toko down here. Um, did we make Jenna already? No, we didn't make Jenna. Let's make Jenna. Because we've got a few... Uh... So the Duchy of Bobo is part of the kingdom of Jenna. 
The other one is Sakasu. He's currently directly under us as well. Where is this? No, no, hang on. This is Bobo. Oh, and the Duchy of Jena is not yet created. So, who is your liege? Okay, these are all direct. Them. Okay, this is good. So, we're going to make the Kingdom of Bobo. No, Jena. And give it maybe to someone from our dynasty in one of these counties. Okay, so not our dynasty. Not our dynasty. Not our dynasty. He, she is, but I can't give it to her, unfortunately. Although I did see someone there, though. The guy who owns the Jamana of Jenna is from the Jenna Jenna family, so I, let's make him the king. Right? It makes sense, like his family is literally the family of Jenna, so let's do that. So we're going to make the kingdom of Jenna and give it to him. Okay, there it is. And then we've got our boy here. Congratulations, my dude. You are now a king. This is all your land. Do I have to grant you some vassals or will that happen automatically? Let's see. He's got no vassals. Okay, grant vassal. So, oh, hey, you got a sub there, mate. Congratulations. And thank you to whoever gifted it to him. But well, he does deserve it. Love me some air. You can click vassals from the map. Yeah, I know that. I, th I, th I can't see them anymore, so I assume that they're under him now. Yeah, he's got three vassals. He's got... The Duke of Bobo, and then these two counts. These two counts it. Perfect. So that's good. That's another king sorted. See, look, the map is starting to look really nice now. King, 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 king. So we need to sort out down here. I mean, sort out over here. But we're almost done with all our kingdoms. What do you guys think of the uh, beard, by the way? Should I shave this off or not? It's starting to get itchy. Yeah, I don't... <laughs> the thing with Sander is... He's only 25 away from accepting this, and... In a few, like, years, we're going to be able to get this, which will increase off of vassalization acceptance, so he will just vassalize shortly. Shave beard at 75 subs. Ask my girlfriend. Well, my girlfriend wants me to shave it off, so. Let it grow more. Oh, we got another message. Okay, it's, cry it's cryptic, guys. I don't know. Oh, no, I... Uh, Mutant just doesn't get the joke, does he? <laughs> it's always moon. It's not moon. Steven said, I think I mean, I, th so Steve, sorry, Neil goes, are you in a state to play? And then Steven says, I think, I mean, is Florida an okay state? And then Mooton said, wait, you're in Florida. Like, Mooton, he's joking. He's, he's literally taking the piss out of you for living in Florida. You don't even get it. We're sieging down the capital here. Is 274 men are fleeing with the baby, the faith, the baby lord. Oh my. Kaisak, Kaisk, thanks for the sub. Useless census. Don't like the look of this. That's annoying. Okay, we, we've captured the child. Okay, it's time to execute him. No. We'll just win the war. Well written. For the, to the evil. Evil? How dare he? How dare he? Just because I killed my own children. 
So be it. This land is now mine. Alright, we've got to give away this land over here. Let's stand our men down. Hmm. We need more family members. More, more family members. Actually, I've been doing this, but I wonder if I can do this thing where you go... You click on the title, and you click Grant to. And then you see here, Waja Luktaka. Ah, this is... This is actually so much better. So, who's the first decent guy of our dynasty with some... Marshall? Firing one Borbe. I oh, know he's already a Farin though, not giving it to him. Whoops, that was close. Okay, so... Filter, ruler... Not a ruler. And then we also want... Dynasty... Liptarko. Oh, this is great. Look at this. Alright. You. What am I giving you here? Nan Nanumba? Yeah. See, I keep doing things the old-fashioned way, but there's a lot of new stuff in here that really just helps quite a great deal. Excuse me. Okay, let's give this to someone with... No. No stewardship. Okay. I mean, wow. Really are scraping the barrel these days, guys. Uh, this person here. And you. We will give this to. This guy. You can click those banners away, can you? Nope. Garbage dynasty. Yeah, you know, it's about the size though, isn't it? You, really, you should vassalize. She's close. I think if we send her a gift... Yeah, when we get the next trait, we'll be able to do that. Alright, let's speed along until we get this trait, because I'm quite excited to get this next one. What's up, BB Gunners? Oh, you... Um, yeah, you were being attacked by another vassal. I don't know, I wonder if you won. You were being attacked by... Um, Alayaman's grandson. Let's see if we can we can work out who he is. Where if if you won or not. You're being attacked by this guy for Yeah, he beat you. Mate, he took this he took this county off you. You hate to see that, don't you? You hate to see it. Yeah, you got fucked up, BB Gunners, not gonna lie. You've always been a disappointment, like... How did you end up in charge of this... This kingdom? Wait! Wait a minute. Wait, where are you? Oh no! Wait. Kingdom of Ghana. Title history. BB Gunners. Oh, you're in prison again! You've been imprisoned by a Yasser boy. <laughs> oh dear. Wow, gosh, she was just mad you and finish it off. You've got gold, ransom yourself. Oh my god, he's taking your kingdom, dude. Holy fuck. That is tragic. We could revoke it. She'd accept it as well. We could revoke it and give it back to you. But I'm not going to do that. Not yet, anyway. Okay. Who's next? Okay, we could still declare war on Houseland over here. It would cost us 3,000 prestige. But let's get our... Uh, we're going to get our, our next trait first. Oh my god, Moon's farming. Shit. Oh wait, we got another message. I live in fear that one of these is going to be from Steven. It's probably just Moon being angry with me though.
some memes. <laughs> All right, we're not reading that one out, mate. I hereby invite you to a feast at my court. It will be my pleasure. Every guest is gathered in the great hall. This better be worth my time, Farin Lefia. As one plate of food is replaced by the next, my vassal, Farbas Tenen, goes on and on about friendship. And that was how we salvaged that mess. Are you sure you're not bothering me, my lord? I'll take the plus one. Yeah. I'll take the plus one to diplomacy and learning. Chained Hunter has been asking me for a sewing kit, incorrectly spelt, for a long time. And I told her I would get one for her in three months if she displayed more focus in her studies. She simply waved my offer away, saying she did not really care about it anymore. She keeps the trait fickle. Hmm. Is this my daughter? Oh, it's my heir. Shit. We need to have a son. What's going on? She loses fickle and gains content. I don't. I wouldn't mind her being content, actually. That's pretty good. Can we, we need to have a son. Uh, I must have said something particularly intelligent because Farina Yala complimented me on how clever I am. How would you like to be my wife? I can't. Wait. Okay. In response, I smile intelligently. <laughs> Back at my fellow scholar before I get occupied with the grease running down my chin. I do say some clever things at times. Minus one learning. What? Shit. Scholarly confidence. You hate to say it. It does matter, because she's still going to have claims. Returning home. I've gained the trait. Eager Reveler. Plus two diplomacy, plus one intrigue. Plus ten opinion of other revelers. That's pretty nice. Can't click it away, look. Cannot. Oh, you can right-click it away. Well done. Well done. You win this one. Major diplomatic expertise, plus two for the wife there. Level up. Oh, level up. Nice one. All right, true ruler. Here we go. This is sick. It always annoyed me in CK2 how basically no one would ever accept vassalization unless they were like, you were an emperor, they were a count, you were their, and you were their rightful re liege, and they really liked you. Like, it barely ever happened. Okay, mate. Thank you. Join. Join us. To Gomba here. Join us. How close are you? Three? Just gonna send you a little gift here. 35 gold. Now. Yes, join us. Join us. Nothing bad will happen to you. What about uh, any chance we can get... This guy. Wait, is this all one dude now? Oh, he's... He's taken over... Uh, those guys. Laura Pini. Oh my god, they're all doing it. They're all doing it. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, you. Minus 32. Hmm. Okay, we can pay him 25 gold. That's not going to do it, but we can sway him a bit, maybe. Alright, this person probably won't. Nah. And then you over here. No, we just declared war on them, so they're not going to do it. What is this? Okay, this is just a siege. Alright, let's watch all this glorious land join us now. Excellent. Excellent. One, yes. Oh my god. Oh, it's glorious. Oh, that is just fucking great. It's free real estate. <laughs> what about you up here? Oh, you're part of this kingdom. I can. Can I convince you? Oh no, that's that's you. You ruble are not gonna do it. Okay. I am tempted to subjugate your ruble land. Here. 
Hippity hoppity, now it's my property. I like that one, it's good. Alright, it's 10 minutes until uh, the show is due to start. Steven's still away. Probably not worth getting into any wars right now. Well, no big ones, at least. ASMR beard scratch. Oh, shit. Yeah, time for a smoke. Good idea, Tammy. Mate, you're so smart. Yeah, it's probably going to be a 30 minute delay. We're not going anywhere. We're still, we're still here. We're still here, lads. Oh, we could have a subscriber goal to have me stop smoking. That would be quite a good one, wouldn't it? A Sorko man from Dendi has come to petition me for increased representation in my government. My lord, we are your loyal subjects, yet we have no say in how our communities are governed. Would it be so much to ask for one of our people to have a place in your administration? Very well. You shall rule Dendi from this point forward. Where is Dendi? Dendi's over here. Wait, but who is the current lord of Dendi? It's not... It's somebody else. Okay. So, if I give him this, this guy becomes, like, super angry with me. But he would be no one, then. This guy is strong and a fortune builder. I quite like this guy, actually. I think he has a strong hook on him, which is good. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, you're promoted. Colonoscopy. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, I'm gonna stop smoking anyway, so it's all good, you know. <laughs> yeah, Matthew, this guy's had a great time. He was not, a, that has gone far better than he expected. Far better than he expected. I went to university in Manchester. Was McTaki talking about his... Uh, if McTaki makes a CK, uh, an Arcadia mod for this, well... I'm not sure I'll do anything else. You've got a great beard, you're now a lot of your hands. Yeah. You go on a long run to Amsterdam, I don't care. I'm looking forward to it, in fact. Thanks for the gift there, BB Gunners. Maybe we, maybe we will give you the kingdom back after all. I'll tell you what, give 10 more and we'll revoke the kingdom and give it back to you. No, I'm joking. You don't have to do that. You're from Manchester, Junebug. Whereabouts do you live? Very nice. Send me some black pudding, my dude. Love it. Your grandfather played for Man United. Wow. Uh, United. The 3D modeling app is maybe Blender, is it? I don't know. Jonathan, thank you for the subscription. Alright, I'm going to go smoke the cigarette, guys. I'll be back in a second.
Alright, we're back. I turned the light off because uh, I'm smoking on my window and I don't want to be like lit up with a head on. In the dark. Tombs of Scoria should be soon. Let me, I just got a Discord message. Alright, well Neil's just put the call up, so... But Destiny's still away, so we'll, we'll carry on for a little bit longer here. Yeah, I, could, nah, I don't really want to buy a vape, to be honest. I don't really feel like I'm that addicted. I feel like I could stop if I want to. Um, Tombs of Scoria is today, yes. I respect your opinion on this, Twig, because you are, an, you are a nurse after all, so... You know these things. Look at our glorious empire, guys. This is just fucking great. This trait that we just got is like the best thing I've ever seen in this game. So fucking cool. We should just be able to annex this duchy down here from Yorubaland. That would be nice. Can we do that? Yeah, we could take the whole of this here. Well, this is like five counties down here. Chewing tobacco. God, that sounds gross. Well, I never even... I don't think that's a thing. I've never seen anyone uh, using chewing tobacco in my life. Uh, the show is Tombs of Scoria on uh, Destiny's channel. Yeah, it's an American thing. Spittoons, right? Ding! Snorting tobacco. Oh, like snuff, yeah. That reminds me, right? So I went to... Um, I went to Oktoberfest for my girlfriend's sister's uh, fiance's stag do. And uh, they were like giving out this like weird, it kind of looked like cocaine and everyone was like snorting it, but it was just this like weird white powder uh, that wasn't cocaine, but it was like snuff. It was fucking everywhere, it was crazy. Do we go to war with Yoruba land here? We'll be at a truce with him for 10 years and... How old is he? He's 32. I kind of want to just subjugate him. Okay, so Stephen is now offline. Oh, I don't do cocaine, Grimaldo. I tried it once, it wasn't for me. Yeah, it means he's reconnecting, I, I guess. Yeah, we got 300 viewers. It's a shame that we are going to have to stop now. But it is time for Tombs of Scoria, I think, very soon. So, uh, we might need to call it a day. I'll host Destiny's channel on here if you want to talk in this chat, I guess. Isn't naming the Empire Malikai a bad omen? No, I don't think it is. I don't think it is. Uh, this seems, I mean, I feel like I might declare war on Yorubaland here, but I'm gonna do that next time. We are making very good progress down here. Uh, yeah, I do read DGG. It is beautiful, isn't it? To think we started off as a single count in the glorious county of Udalan here. Do you remember when we'd we'd got our first duchy and we were going to war for Lower Germa down here? Good times. Religious map, yeah, sure. So we've got the African religions down here. It's looking like Siguic is starting to take over as the dominant religion in in the this Central Africa. Um, we've got various shades of Islam in North Africa and in uh, the Iberian Peninsula. Then over here in the Middle East, we've got Ashari, which is pretty dominant over here. Is this all one? Okay, there's a few dynasties here. We've got the Tulanids, the Abbasids, Madin, the Safarid, Jazeera, but they're all the same shade of Islam. 
Orthodoxy is doing all right. Catholicism. <clears throat> Still struggling to take hold in the UK. Uh, not managing to make much inroads into Scandinavia. And it's got a Cathar heresy here. I mean, actually, Catholicism is having a bad time. All right. Okay, I think it's time to uh, switch to uh, the Discord call for the Zoom call for Zooms of Scoria. So I'm going to end the stream. Thank you, everyone who subscribed. And I'll see you all in uh, Destiny's chat. Alright, Stainless. Thanks for watching, man. See you guys later. I'm going to just switch it back to this for a little wave. Au revoir. See you in a bit. Oh wait, that didn't... Did that do it? Okay. Here we go. Alright. See you later.